Welcome, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, I want to spend some time talking about who is responsible for filling the talent bench and funding the top jobs for the future. It's a 30-year journey if you think about taking a early in career intern who might be 20 and getting them successfully deployed and placed in a top job. They might say be uh, 50 at the time. So it's, it's a 30 year developmental journey for someone to be a legendary top manager in a sizable organization. And the issue is who is responsible for that management and the answer is it takes a village. Uh, it takes an awful lot of players over that 30 year period to manage that journey successfully. Let's uh, take a look at the players. So there are some outside players. There are shareholders, institutional investors, uh, government agencies, uh, shareholders, there's a lot of people who are interested in succession. That is, I am a stockholder or I'm a institutional investor and I want to know who the next CEO is going to be, who the next chief marketing officer is going to be, and how deep is the bench. So we have an awful lot of people on Wall Street concerned about continuity of organizations. So one of the people in the village that helps us manage this 30-year journey are people like investors. We've got the board. So most organizations, both profit and nonprofit, have boards. One of the issues boards pay attention to is succession. <clears throat> now, they tend to be interested in short-term succession, that is, who is the next C-suite whichever the officer's most critical to the organization. So who is the next head of marketing? Who is going to be the next CEO? So boards tend to be sort of uh, short-sighted. They're, they're interested in the next turn. But as I've watched organizations and worked with boards, they're becoming more and more interested in longer-term bench building. Uh, so the board is one of the people in the village. You then have the CEO who's responsible for everything. And the issue is the CEO has decision-making capability to make sure that this 30-year journey is being managed. Not only now, but more importantly, downstream. That is, the CEO is not going to be here anymore. But the CEO is making decisions that are going to determine how good the bench is. Then you have the whole C-suite uh, who is responsible for managing people in their units who are high potentials or high potentials growing into one of these eventual top jobs. You have the CHRO, you've got the head of uh, human resources and in most organizations, talent management reports through the CHRO, and that person is responsible for installing the platform, building the best practices for talent management, and making sure that the 30-year journey occurs. Then you have all of the top management or talent management professionals who work in the various domains of talent management. Every boss is part of the village. So every boss has a responsibility to identify, to train, develop, give feedback, coach people in their team on their seven person team right now who eventually someday is going to end up in top management. So every boss has a role to play in the village. And then you have the up and coming leaders themselves who are responsible for taking advantage of opportunities, of responding to challenge, of being curious, of being open uh, to work with sponsors and mentors. So 
That's an idea of the village that it takes to manage this 30-year career. The 30-year journey has about four tasks or four steps in it. First is you have to bring in talent at the beginning. So you have to recruit and hire people who are already or could be developed into high potentials or high potentials. So you've got to have talent at the beginning of the pipeline or nothing you do beyond that makes a difference. So that's primarily in the village, the job of HR and talent management to know how to source, evaluate and attract people of potential at the beginning of the journey. Then you have to build and maintain a science-based best practices talent management platform that is, all of the things that we use, like performance appraisal, engagement, succession planning, training and development, coaching, all of the pieces and parts that go in the talent management system, it needs to be science-based, experience-tested, and best practice. And HR and talent management is responsible for that. The organization has to build the KSAs for the future. So KSAs, the knowledge, skills, and attributes needed to do a job or task successfully. And you have to know what those KSAs are now and what they're going to be in the future. Uh, we have talked in other pieces about SORTI, S-O-R-T-I, and we know that there are five talent sets that are critical for most organizations. It's strategic is the S, operational and executional is the O, R is relationship management of all kinds, T is heavy technical skills, and I is international, which is a unique talent set. There are very few very successful international executives that can function in any context, in any situation. The fourth task, once we know a person has the potential, either pro or po, and they are on their journey and they're getting toward placement in one of the top jobs in the organization, we have to coach and hone the particular KSAs or sortie talent sets that are needed to go forward. Each of these tasks takes the village. So all of the village players that we talked about have a role to play. So as you can imagine, for instance, even hiring high potentials and potentials, the board has to incent and motivate the CEO and the C-suite to do that. The C-suite has to fund the CHRO, particularly a strong recruiting function, and the talent management members of the village have to be good at sourcing and finding and evaluating and attracting talent. At the second, which is providing a talent management foundation, the platform of best practice skills, it's primarily talent management and CHRO of the village that does that. There's a lot of pushback from the line. There are about 19 different practices involved in executing a talent management strategy. And they're not all easy to do. They're, they're not things line managers like to do. For instance, the annual talent review, which is one of the 19 tasks of the journey. A lot of line managers don't look forward to that and sort of push back nominating people, for instance, for potential. Building the skills almost takes the whole village, primarily direct bosses, have to take in people of talent and leave them better off when they leave. And as you all know, people who have poten potential for the future tend to move through jobs more quickly than people without potential. So a boss may have a high potential for 18 months 
and they have to teach them the current job and then get them ready for the next job all at the same time. Not all bosses are good at that and not all bosses want to do that. Honing the final skills for placement in top management is really an issue of executive coaching. Uh, it's getting more popular today in organizations that almost everyone who's getting close to the C-suite or a high general manager job has a coach to work with. And basically it's a finishing school for executives. And it's somebody who, who has a sortie profile that has been determined and documented, and then we need to figure out whether they need strengths in some of the other sorties or to make them even better in the dominant sortie talent sets uh, that they have. What we know is the task is never done. It's a 30-year journey. You have to have a strong bench for a continuity of the organization and you've got to be able to roll the entire C-suite about every decade, about every 10 years. Uh, if companies look at the picture of the C-suite every decade, it's most likely all new people generally other than the legal counsel and maybe the CFO tend to stay in their jobs longer. So the issue is that Managing this 30-year journey, which every organization has to do, takes a very large village. Everyone has accountabilities throughout the entire 30-year period. And unless everybody's a player, it won't happen. <laughs>